Hey you guys, so I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. I don't remember how to open this up because girl, a lot has been going on. I'm a real introvert, but it's so funny because it's like, because people are telling me to stay at home, I'm like, nah, you're not gonna tell me to do something I've been doing all my life, okay? Now I'm about to go outside. I'm trying to be good and I'm trying to stay indoors. So, Let's talk about shampoo. So shampoo is one of those things that like not a lot of people talk about, not a lot of people even care about. But what I decided to do because I got so much time on my hands, I organized my shelf of hair products. Those who follow me on Instagram probably already seen it. And so I decided to go ahead and talk about the products that I have on my shelf in categories. I don't wanna overwhelm y'all, so it's gonna be separate videos, and this one is gonna be about shampoo. I've actually gotten rid of a lot of products, so a lot of these are shampoos that I actually do like. Um, in my previous video, I did like shampoos that are just like my favorites of this year, but some of these are like oldies but goodies, and a lot of you ask me all the time, like what do I use on my hair, and it is, it's a combination of stuff. Like, you know how you have your high end stuff, your middle grade, and then your low end? But if it works, it works. Like, I am not the type of person that wants to spend a lot of money on hair products. For what? For why? Uh uh. So, basically, what we're gonna do is go through the stuff that is on my shelf currently that I have right here. Tell you guys if I like it or if I didn't like it. Some stuff is like, eh. Eh, but I still have it, so child, whatever. So the first thing we can talk about is this African Pride Pre-Poo. This is literally goals. This is probably the best pre-poo I've ever used on my hair. Um, and it is their aloe and coconut water. It is extremely slippery and I just, I absolutely love it. I don't have anything bad. Okay. The only bad thing that I have to say about this is I feel like it's kind of hard to find. Now I haven't looked for this in a long time, but definitely like when it launched and even like months later, you could literally only find it at certain stores. Whereas the whole collection you can find at a whole bunch of stores, but the pre-poo you just could not. It was only like select, like, I don't know what that was about but it is entirely slippery. You have matted, tangled hair. You put this on your head, girl, them tangles, them tangles is going bye bye. Like I really, really love it. The only thing is I don't really pre-poo that often, if I'm being honest. Um, it's cute, but I, I just don't need to really use it, so I don't. So I actually have two of these <laughs> left. Um, but yeah, they're really good and they're they're super super affordable. So the next thing is this cream of nature This is the apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse um, As you can see, I don't use this often, but I really do like it Cantu also has a apple cider vinegar rinse that I use like when I have braids in my hair um, And if my scalp gets like a little itchy, then I will go ahead and just like, you know, squirt along the line, rub it in. But this is an actual like clarifying rinse. I've used this a couple of times and I do like it. I don't have anything negative to say about it. I just don't use it as often. But if you really, 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 really want to clarify your hair, I will highly recommend um, getting this. Or you can use your own apple cider vinegar. Like you don't have to buy this. You can just buy apple cider vinegar from the store. Um, if you want to make a little concoction, a little DIY, you could do that too, but I do like this. I just don't use it often. It says moisture and exotic shine. I don't know about all that, but it does clean the heck out of my hair. I do know that. If you've been following me for a long time, then you already know that this Suave Almond and Shea Butter line is my absolute favorite. This is always on like a crazy sale for like a dollar. And I stock up because the shampoo and the conditioner are litty, 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 litty. Like I love them both. The shampoo is super moisturizing, get your hair clean. The conditioner is even more moisturizing. So the Suave Almond and Shea Butter shampoo 
it's the best. And I think this is a new bottle. It feels really new. Um, so it probably is, but I pick it up every time I see it. I promise you. The next one is by As I Am, and this is from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. When I first try this shampoo, this is why, honestly, like I do a lot of first impression and views, but you really do need to use a product maybe two or three times before you really get the real gist of it. Because the first time I used this, I didn't like it. I was like, mm, nah, this ain't gonna work for me. I do not like it. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I was like, this is the best shampoo I've ever used. It's super moisturizing. It gets my hair clean. I feel like maybe the first time that I used it, I just had maybe just, too much product on my hair. Maybe my hair was super, super dry. I don't know. But I hated it the first time. Every time I used it after that, I really, really loved it. So I would definitely highly recommend this one. Um, this is one of the new shampoos from Carol's Daughter. You probably can't even see that, but this is from the Goddess Strength Collection. And this is the Fortifying Shampoo. Now I did try everything in that collection. The shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in. <sighs> Um, and the oil. And I think the shampoo is my least favorite from the entire collection. Like it's still full. It's like all the way up here says like is, I just don't run to it. It's not horrible as if it strips your hair and like you looking like Don King. It's not like that, but it's, it's just, it don't hit. It just don't hit for me. And it's not something that I look for. Will I use it again? Yes, I will definitely use it. But if somebody came over and they wanted it, girl, you can have it. The next product is from Oyen Handmade. And this is the Ginger Mint Co-Wash. Um, this is, it says Invigorating Cleansing Cream, Green Tea and Ginger Extract. Um, I think I picked this up at a hair show. I think so. It's so cute. <laughs> It's okay. I feel like I was expecting more of like a really refreshing sensation than what I got. I don't know. I feel like this was just good, but it didn't wow me because I honestly really don't remember. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't remember anything about it. And trust me, when I really like something, I remember. So I I don't know about this one. Let me know if you've tried this by Oyen Handmade. I don't know what's going on with Oil and Handmade. I feel like they're just one of those companies that are like, you know what, sis, every five years, new product. Other than that, psh, oh my gosh, this is Bay. This is Bay. Like, I just get so happy looking at the bottle. I love using it in my hair. Like, I just, I love this stuff so much. This is a clarifier. I feel like with a hint of moisture so your hair is not super super dry but it gets your hair clean i love the nozzle i think i would buy this over and over and over again i mean if this was the only shampoo that i had left to use i would use this one it it's just so good now a lot of people said that it's really really stripping um i don't know it's not for me like i said it's a good clarifier and i get the moisture that i need as well so I ain't tripping, I love it. The Texture ID, this is a scalp scrub, right? Dry hair plus scalp relief, exfoliating shampoo and scalp scrub. <sighs> Girl, what was I trying to say? I do like this, I really do like this. The only thing that I don't like is that it is six ounces. You can only find it at Sally's, that's about it. Um, I do really like this. The exfoliating beads are not like super thick and feel like your scalp is just being like toe up from the flow up it doesn't feel like that so it's like you really do get like i don't know like that massaging feeling like and your hair feels amazing afterwards i really do like this like i said the only thing i don't like is that it's six ounces like could we could have at least got eight pgin moisture rich sulfate free shampoo I have never gotten the moisture rich aspect out of this shampoo. Never. Like to me, it's a clarifying shampoo. Like it is not moisturizing to me at all. It reminds me of the um, 
the shampoo from, oh my gosh, what is the name of the company? Mish Beauty. It reminds me of that shampoo. Like that shampoo also says like super moisturizing and I don't think it is. Like I, I don't, it's nothing wrong with it. I feel like it's more of a clarifying shampoo. I don't think it's a moisturizing shampoo. If this said clarifying, I'd be with it, but it don't. Okay, if I had to choose two shampoos that I could use for the rest of my life, it would be these two. Like, the butter shampoo from Sultanicals is so moisturizing. It, honestly, it's unreal. Like, your hair literally feels like you use the best deep conditioner in the world after you shampoo. And it gets your hair clean at the same time. I could honestly repurchase these for the rest of my life and be good. Be real good. We have the Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. This is also a great shampoo. It's not as buttery as the Shea Ayurvedic Butter Shampoo, but it still is a good one. I would buy this again. But what I, I mean, if I'm buying this, child, I don't need both. Um, So we have a product from Honey's Handmade. This is the Sweet Potato Low Poo co-wash cleansing butter this is really good as well this is a really 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 good co-wash and i've tried a couple of co-washes from um honey's handmade that i was just like uh-uh this ain't gonna work for me but this one is really really good and it actually smells like sweet potato like thanksgiving all day so I really do like this one. We have the co-wash from As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line. I really do like this one, but for me, this is not as amazing as the As I Am other co-washes, the original and the Dry Itchy Scalp. The Dry Itchy Scalp co-wash is phenomenal. It is the best co-wash I think that as I am sells the original is bay, but I feel like the dry itchy scalp like really clarifies your scalp. Like you feel that minty sensation, and it's also super moisturizing. Um, the original is I feel like it's just really moisturizing, and it gets your hair clean. But the dry itchy scalp one is bay. This one is okay. It's not. It's probably not something I would repurchase. I would repurchase the dry itchy scalp one. Here is another, can you see that? You can halfway see that. Here is another ACV rinse that I got from Marshalls and this is by DP Hue. Um, and like it says on the bottle, apple cider vinegar hair rinse. This one is actually super, super moisturizing. Whereas the cream of nature one is not moisturizing to me, but it gets the job done because it's an apple cider, it's an apple cider vinegar rinse. Um, so it definitely does clarify, cleans your scalp, but this one is moisturizing at the same time. So, I mean, I would prefer to use this one. It's really good. I just don't use ACV rinses often, but if I had to choose, I would definitely choose this one. This is from Myel, and this is the Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo, and it is definitely that. It is definitely moisturizing. You can detangle, it cleans your hair as well. The only thing that I hate about these is the tops. The tops are horrible. Like, they, I hope they've changed them, but I don't. Like, this one is, look, can you see? Hold on. This one is like halfway coming out and it's crooked. It is just, every time I buy these, the, the tops are just, girl, what is y'all doing up there? But I still buy it because I love the product. I just literally just take the cap off and then just use it in my hands because girl, I ain't got the time. But it's really good. Another great shampoo is the main choice. And this is from the Exotic Kool-Aid line. This is the Minty Guava and Kiwi Shampoo. You guys remember when this came out, if you watch my channel, I was all over this. Like I still do love it. I just don't use it as often. I kind of gravitate to other shampoos. But it is amazing. It cleans my hair. My hair feels super moisturized. Like, it's litty for me. I don't have any issues with this. <laughs> the only issue, I think you could, can you still just only get this at Walgreens? I don't know. Um, I haven't bought it in a long time. When I did buy it, I bought it from the website because it was on sale. Um, so I don't know, but if you can still only get this at Walgreens, that, that is, mm-mm, no. 
So the next product is from Honey's Handmade again, and this is the Pumpkin Spice and Toffee Corn Silk Hair Wash. <laughs> now, I actually really do like this, which I was surprised because it is really runny. When I say really runny, like, this should have actually had a nozzle like this, um, like this. I don't know why this came in just like a regular push top because it's like water. Like it, you cannot pour this in your hand. So it's very annoying. But if you just pour it into your scalp, like it's highly effective. I like it. It's super moisturizing and it gets your hair clean. Another Honey's Handmade product. And this is the Pumpkin Safflower Apple Butter Co-Wash. I really do like this. It was, I was actually really surprised by this. Um, it is super, super moisturizing and gets your hair clean. So no complaints there. Uh, this is from She Scented and this is the Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. Girl, I'm struggling. <laughs> um, I really do like this. Again, this is a scrub like the um, Texture ID. However, the Texture ID the little, what do you call it, scrub beads are more gentle than I feel like the She Scented. However, it still gets your hair really, really clean. Um, I mean, like your hair feels so refreshed. Like it doesn't give you like that minty, you know, stick of gum feeling, but it's like your hair just feels light. It just feels so clean and so airy and when you touch it it feels so moisturized <laughs> like I just really do love this stuff I would highly recommend it I will definitely buy this again <coughs> on sale um but I really 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 do like this um this is by Aussie and this is the Miracle Curls co-wash this is literally three minute miracle it is it's three minute miracle i like it feels literally the same so with this i i'm always like yes i love that it is super moisturizing but is you cleaning my hair i don't feel like it's cleaning my hair like my scalp doesn't feel like refreshed and clean it just feels really moisturizing so i would honestly use this as like a deep conditioner because it's three minute miracle in another bottle. Um, the next product is from Alakay Naturals. I don't actually have a lot of Alakay Naturals products, but this is a moisturizing black soap shampoo. And I don't know where the moisture is in my bottle, but it's not there. The moisture is not in this. This is again a clarifying shampoo. Like and it's nothing wrong with being a clarifying shampoo, but just don't say moisturizing. It's, to me, it's not. To my hair, it is not moisturizing at all. Um, but to clarify my hair, yes, it actually does do that. I've used this a couple times, you could tell. Dang, oh, this need to be shook up. Shake, 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 sis. Um, I don't even know why I did that. But anyway, you can see it's like right here. So I have been using it again as a clarifier like i don't use this and i'm thinking oh i want my shampoo to be super moisturizing no when i have heavy product on my hair i'll go in with this and be like all right sis do the job but moisture grew with where this is by Tresemme naturals and this is an oldie but goodie i've kind of been like saving this because i don't see it in the store like i see the flawless curls but i don't see the naturals Anyway, this is a nourishing moisturizing shampoo and it is very moisturizing and it is very nourishing and I love, love, love. I've had this bottle for a while. This one says aloe vera and avocado. Highly recommend if you can find it. Every time I like think about it, when I see Tresemme in the store, I can never find it. Um, but I feel like it's probably in some store and I just don't even be thinking about it and I'd be passing by my dreams, my whole dreams. But I really, really, really do like this, but I try not to use it because I feel like I can't find it again. The next product is from Mayel again, and this is a great rosemary mint strengthening shampoo. Does it strengthen, girl? I don't know, 
But I love, 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 love this shampoo. It, to me, is a moisturizing yet clarifying at the same time. So this shampoo is kind of like this one, but this is way more moisturizing. So they're kind of like opposites to me. Like this one is super clarifying with a little bit of moisture. This one has a ton of moisture and it's like a little bit clarifying. Um, so best of both worlds, I, I highly, highly recommend. This one definitely gives your scalp that minty sensation like sis. I'm clean. I'm all the way live. Like, I I love this. I think I have, like, four of these. You know how, like, Mayel normally does, like, that $5 or $7? I stock up. The deep conditioner in this line is really good, too. This is the co-wash from the Her Essentials collection, which a lot of you told me in my last video that it is actually available on her website for purchase without the bundle, without the whole collection. I think it's, like, $12 or $14. I think, which is kind of high for eight ounces, but it's Camille Rose, so whatever. And it's worth it because this co-wash is amazing. It's super moisturizing and it gets your hair clean. And I have used majority of this. I probably got one more use, if even one, probably half of a use. But I really, 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 really like this. The next one is by The Main Choice. And this is from the Proceed With Caution line. And this is the Slippery When Wet Shampoo. This is I. If, will I ever buy it again? F for what? No, ma'am. It's not horrible, but it's just not needed. Like, I don't need it. I can find other shampoos that are way cheaper than this and get better results. Like, the one that I've... Okay, I think this is like $10 or $11. And then, you know, at Target, you use your red cards. What? I just, I just don't think it's worth it personal opinion um let me know if you guys have used this and if this is your favorite but it's just it's all right last but not least is the shampoo from ajwa beauty um i like this but it's not it's not a favorite of mine with their products like i really do like their deep conditioner and i really really love the leave-in like the leave-in is poof the leave-in is everything. Um, but this is just, it's okay. I mean, Baobab, right? Baobab moisturizing shampoo. So you do get like that winter fresh feeling and your scalp. But I just, nothing about this just makes, nothing about this screams, sis, you must repurchase. I can kind of get the same thing that you get out of this one and some of these other products that I have here that are cheaper and on the ground, which they said Ajwa Beauty is supposed to be in Sephora soon, but child, I can't walk in Sephora and just walk out with no zag on Ajwa Beauty. Like I will have so much other stuff, so much perfume, like stuff I just don't need. So I stay away from Sephora. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, it's just okay. It's, like I said, nothing that I would repurchase. All right, you guys. So I know that I have talked your heads off with all of the shampoos that are currently in my collection. I like to use stuff up even if I don't really love it because if I just kind of like it, I'm gonna use it eventually, so I keep it. Th these are the items that I don't give away. There are a lot of stuff that I've given away. Um, but yeah, so that's what's currently in my stash. Next, I think I'll probably do leave-ins. Maybe leave-ins or gels. I don't know. Deep conditioners? I don't know. Let me know what your favorite shampoo is that you're currently using. And let me know what your least favorite shampoo is too. Because we got to vent about the stuff we don't like, okay? So anyway, I hope you all are staying safe out there. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye!